The Nine Babylonian Gods and Goddesses There are, Ishtar, Nabu, Apshu, Shamash, Ea, Tiamat, Nergal, Marduk, and Adad. Ishtar, the goddess of war, and a multifaceted goddess, takes three paramount forms, the goddess of love, sexuality, and fertility. She is responsible for all life, but she is never a mother goddess. As the goddess of war, she is often shown winged and bearing arms. Ishtar is considered a member of the special class of Mesopotamian gods called the Anunnaki. She is the Akkadian counterpart of the West Semitic goddess Astarte, the great goddess of the ancient Middle East and chief deity of Tyre, Sidon, and Elat, as an important Mediterranean seaports. She was also the goddess of rain and thunderstorms, leading to her association with the sky god, and was often pictured with the lion, whose roar resembled thunder. The power attributed to her in war may have arisen from her connection with storms. Nabu Nabu is one of the oldest known wisdom gods in world faiths. Like Thoth, he was the assistant of a pantheon head. He was also the scribe and son of Marduk, the all-powerful god of creation in ancient Mesopotamia. Worshipped by the Babylonians and the Assyrians as early as the first millennium BC. And he was credited with the invention of writing. It was said that Nabu owned the tablets that determined the lengths of human lives. It was also believed that Nabu was the god who recorded the destiny of every new year. He is a beloved and widely venerated deity that personified learning, literacy and wisdom. The worship of Nabu survived up to the 2nd century AD. Nabu is the inspiration for the names of Babylonian kings. Apshu, also known as Abzu and Napsu. He is the primordial deity of fresh water originally known to the Mesopotamians. He is most well known for being the original consort of the goddess Tiamat, and is a giver of knowledge. Despite being a primordial deity with a monstrous appearance, Abzu seems to be rather a patient calm, yet fierce in his domain and his status as a primordial. Abzu was always seen getting along with his consort Tiamat, and quiet strict yet patient and caring towards his children. Being the primordial deity of wisdom Abzu is rather an intelligent and wise deity. His wisdom gives him great advantage of dealing or working things with a more careful, as it's seen where he usually gives Tiamat advice on how to do things as good as possible. Shamash, also known as Utu, is the Babylonian sun god revered as the god of divine justice, truth and morality. He was the son of the moon god Nana, and the goddess Ningal. He was the twin brother of Inanna. It was believed that Shamash saw everything that went on during the daytime, and thus was able to maintain justice in the world. Shamash was believed to be a benevolent god, the first to provide humankind with a system of laws. The temples of Shamash were known as Ebaber. Shamash was depicted as an old man with a long beard, and rays of light flowing from his shoulders like wings. Ea, also called Enki was revered as the god of water and wisdom. His origins can be traced back to the ancient Sumerian civilization, which thrived in what is now modern-day Iraq. Ea's prominence in the Sumerian pantheon, and the myths and legends surrounding him shed light on the profound influence he had, over the culture and beliefs of the ancient Mesopotamians. He was considered the bringer of life, using his wisdom and power to contribute to the creation of the world and mankind. Ea was seen as the ultimate benefactor, providing sustenance, knowledge, and guidance to humanity. His role as a protector and provider made him an object of veneration. With the ancient Sumerians attributing numerous qualities and abilities to this mighty deity, it is said that he helped shape the first humans using clay, imbuing them with his wisdom and divine essence. Another tale tells of his crucial role in averting a great flood by warning a chosen hero and providing instructions to build an ark. These myths and legends showcase Ea's status as a wise and powerful deity, revered and respected by the ancient Sumerians. Tiamat Tiamat was the primordial goddess of the sea. She was believed to be the mother of the Babylonian gods, corresponding with the Sumerian Namu. It is suggested that there are two parts to the Tiamat mythos. In the first, she is a creator goddess, through a sacred marriage between different waters peacefully creating the cosmos through successive generations. In the second, Chaos Kampf Tiamat is considered the monstrous embodiment of primordial chaos. 
Some sources identify her with images of a sea serpent or dragon. Tiamat was seen as a monstrous personification of chaos, as well as a mother goddess. The Enumelish describes how, after the creation of the world, Tiamat and her consort Abzu were the only deities. Tiamat gave birth to the first generation of gods. Ao or Enki killed Abzu, and Tiamat gave birth to eleven monsters to seek revenge. Later, Marduk slew Tiamat and used her body to create the earth. Nergal Nergal was the god of the underworld. He was a god of agriculture but also associated with war, death, forest fires, fevers and plague. Nergal was portrayed as scorching the earth and destroying crops, bringing destruction, and devastation to humanity. Nergal was depicted as a man wearing a long robe, and crushing humans under his feet. He often carried a sword with a double lion's head. Marduk Marduk was one of the most important deities of Mesopotamian religion, and the patron deity of the city of Babylon, who eventually rose to power in the first millennium BCE. In the city of Babylon, Marduk was worshipped in the temple Esagila, worshipped as a creator god and known by over 50 different titles. Marduk was originally viewed as a god of thunderstorms. He was the son of the god Enki and married Sarpanitu, a fertility goddess. Marduk is mentioned in many tales, including the Enuma Elish, which tells the story of Marduk's rise to power. Marduk is usually depicted as a man in royal robes, carrying a snake and often a spade. Historically, the famous ziggurat of Babylon was also dedicated to Marduk, which in itself was probably the model for the biblical Tower of Babel. Marduk was responsible for defeating and killing Tiamat, the primeval goddess who took a dragon form to challenge many of the younger gods. Marduk then proceeded on to source the rivers Tigris and Euphrates from the slain goddess eyes, while her body was carved up to create heaven and earth. Hadad known as Ishkur in Sumer, was the Mesopotamian god of thunder, storms and rain. He was one of the most important gods in Mesopotamia, credited with bringing rain and making crops grow. He was also seen as the god of law and oaths. He was the son of An. His wife was Shala, and his servant was Nimjur, the lightning. Adad was usually depicted as a figure carrying a bolt of lightning, which symbolized his power over natural forces. Adad had a twofold aspect, being both the giver and the destroyer of life. His rains caused the land to bear grain, and other food for his friends, hence his title Lord of Abundance. His storms and hurricanes, evidences of his anger against his foes, brought darkness, want and death.